Hi everyone, it's Janet from Water Dogs Canine Center and I just wanted to give you a little tip today. I know something we all struggle with is walking with our dogs on leash. Dogs like to pull, so one thing that we do recommend is choosing proper equipment. We always start with something called a slip lead. So it's a collar and leash all in one and what it does is it slips over your dog's head and then you just tighten this to make sure it fits properly to your dog. That way when it's on your dog, they can't escape. It's a really safe method to use. Um, head halters, harnesses, anything like that, we've seen a lot of dogs get out of and run from, especially if they don't have a great recall. So this allows you to have control over your dog no matter what. And we're gonna show you how to properly position it on a dog to get the best effect for the walk. So I have a seven month old puppy here with me. Rage, here, good boy. So we're gonna put the slip lead on his head. And we wanna make sure that it's fitted right up underneath the jawbone, right behind the ears. And then we push this little keeper down only to give it a little bit of free play. Then as you can see, I don't have to put a lot of strength into having him follow me around. So I'm gonna pay him to hang out with me for right now. And then all we're gonna do is I say to my dogs when I'm ready to go for a walk, I say, let's go, which means we're gonna walk off together. Good job. If he gets ahead, a little bit ahead and pulls on me, good boy, when he catches up with me, I'm gonna pay him to hang out with me. So we wanna build a relationship where you can see the dog is checking in. Good, good boy. And I play a little game like this, where the puppy follows you around, and then if you need to pull on him, You've got least amount of pressure, good boy, where he can follow you there. So what we're looking for is the dog to pay attention to you. Rage, sit, good boy. So that the puppy or dog pays attention to you rather than checking out when you're out walking around the neighborhood. What I like to tell my clients is if you can't take five successful steps, don't worry about taking 5,000 unsuccessful steps. I'd rather you teach them how to work properly on a leash and how to follow you. Rage, yeah, good boy. That ping in, checking in pays, and that definitely we're always in competition when we go out for a walk with our dogs for their attention. So we really want to start building focus, building attention turned inwards. Um, we do recommend always starting on a slip lead, and if you have any other questions or are still struggling, please feel free to reach out to us here at Water Dogs Canine Center in Barrie. Thanks everyone, bye.